everyone. Welcome to Coffee Chat episode number 18. My name is Monica Manga and I'm a system facilitator in the Student Success and Engagement Department at Humber College. Today I'm chatting with Regina Veliak Matoba. Her pronouns are she, her. Regina is a learning support coordinator at Lakeshore Campus. She oversees learning skills workshops series for both campuses and note taking services. Regina is a proud two time Humber alumni. She graduated with the Advanced Diploma in Business Administration and Bachelor of Commerce in Human Resources Management. During her time as a student, she had an opportunity to work in a variety of roles within student life. That's when Regina realized her passion for higher education. And she's very excited to be here today to support all students at Humber College and the University of Guelph Humber. Thank you for joining us today at today, Regina. My first question for you today is, can you tell us about your background and your current role at Humber College? Of course, Monica, thank you for a great introduction. Hi, everybody watching this video. My name is Regina and I'm a learning support coordinator at Humber Lakeshore. As Monica just mentioned, I'm a proud double Humber alumni. Um, and during my time as a student, I had an opportunity to work um, in different jobs within student life. I had positions such as orientation co-chair, um, learning community leader, transition and advising leader, and I was also a senior peer mentor for about four years with the first year experience program, which I believe is currently the longest record um, of the role to be held by one student, which I'm very proud of as well. Uh, and during that time, I realized that I have a passion to work um, in higher education. I really enjoy that process. Um, I enjoy supporting our students in Humber, making sure they have a great positive experience on campus. And uh, last year in summer 2021, I started as a front desk associate and uh, in November I was able to transition into my current role at Lakeshore. Right now I oversee learning skills workshops, note taking services and I assist peer tutoring. Um, and I really want to um, specialize professionally in higher education and within the next couple of years I really consider to do my master's in higher education. Well, that's amazing and uh, really great experience and educational background. Thank you for sharing that. Um, what is it that you like working at PALS? I'm actually very blessed with my job and, and I really love what I do. It's great. We have a very supporting team. Um, my transition was very easy. Everyone was there to support me and ask, um, you know, give answers to any questions I had. Um, a fun fact I would like to share. I actually work with one of my closest friends, Anthony. He oversees peer tutoring at Lakeshore um, and together uh, alongside with the Math and Writing Center, we run PALS for Lakeshore and uh, me and Anthony actually met through the first year experience program and it's just a fabulous experience to work with one of your best friends. I also really enjoy the level of responsibilities I have right now um, in my position. I oversee two programs, support one, and right now I have about student leaders I oversee. Uh, but to be honest, I really miss the time when things were in person, when you could see your co-workers every day, you could run the events in person. I just really miss that social aspect and I'm glad to see that soon enough, hopefully we'll be able to deliver everything in person. Yeah, wow, well, that's amazing. Yeah, it's always nice to uh, work with your friends um, when you are working in the same place. It, it makes it uh, much more enjoyable and it's also true about the um, working in person as well. You, um, I miss I also miss that um, connection with my colleagues. Thank you for that. Um, what is your typical day as a learning support coordinator? Yeah, on my typical day in the morning, I uh, catch up on emails. Just want to highlight that right now I'm a part time staff, so I have a bit uh, less time than full time folks, so I have to really be on top of my game with all of the tasks. The beginning of semester is definitely a very busy uh, time for everybody. So as of now, almost every other day I have multiple calls scheduled with uh, our student staff, with my coworkers, with other external and internal partners we work with. Uh, besides the calls and emails in between of those, I try my best to update the LSW programming. Um, we do some student leader hiring, um, they're onboarding various admin duties for them as well. And uh, we also work closely with other organizations who oversee high school students and support their academic journey. And uh, I mentioned before, everything right now runs online and hopefully, hopefully we can offer more services in person in March. Oh wow, it sounds like a super busy office. <laughs> it, it is for now, definitely. Cool. 
Um, what aspect from your curriculum has helped you with your current role? So um, as mentioned, my background, my bachelor's was in a HR, not really higher education, uh, but I think I took a lot from that program into my current role. Um, I think I can confidently say that my academic experience and, you know, uh, professional experience as a student leader. Um, something would definitely shape me as a person I am today. They give me the skill set I utilize every day in my personal and professional lives. I think I got much better in communication um, with people of different backgrounds. I definitely learned how to be very organized and uh, to be able to prioritize and manage your time. So I really thankful to Humber for providing that skill set for me that I'm able to utilize today. That's amazing. What support is there for students from PALS? That's a great question, Monica. We actually offer a variety of amazing free services. Um, before I jump into them, I just want to mention that recently PALS has merged with a math and writing center and now we are um, like one department. So alongside with the Math and Writing Center, altogether, PALS offers about six services. So the first one, Learning Skills Workshops, um, LSWs as we call it. So basically, it's a series of workshops that was designed to support students with their academic and personal experience in college. Right now, we have about 12 workshops. They all are 15 minutes each. They always free for all students at Humber and Gulf Humber, and we offer them on different topics such as um, time management, money management, how to be a better student in digital environment, and so on. The way it works is that every month we post a drop-in schedule on our website, and it's also um, sent as an email to our students. But what a lot of students don't know is that they always can request those workshops on a one-on-one -on -one basis, depending on their availability and schedule. You can. Do so even on weekends and we run our workshops one on ones um, 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. pretty much every day. So hopefully um, more folks can know about it and will be interested in those one on ones. Um, and for now we offer everything online, but hopefully March uh, we can do more in person. And one thing to mention about LSW is that every month for participation we have two winners who can win a $25 gift card of their choice. And actually yesterday I selected a couple folks for January. Um, one last thing actually to mention about LSWs is that if you attend five of them, um, those will be counted as a credit on your CCR record. Okay. So that's about, yeah, that's the, the about the learning skills workshops. I oversee that one. Maybe that's why I went into so many details about it. Yeah. Um, cool. and as other services we offer, another one would be note taking services. This is uh, note taking services we offer as an accommod academic accommodation for students who are registered with the accessible learning services. And we try our best to uh, work with everyone's unique case and provide the best accommodations possible. Um, one of the other amazing services, peer tutoring. Um, that's where students can get free tutors for courses they have challenges with. Um, all students can get three hours for free of tutoring every week online or in person, and they can request for more hours um, on an individual basis. Um, moving on to the past program, which I believe right now only available for North Campus. Um, that's basically like a group study sessions, which are run by a student leader. Um, and they are um, student sessions for a traditionally difficult courses, which have been difficult for all of the students in the past. And uh, the last but not least service of PALS is digital learning. So that's a very new thing which was created during the pandemic. Um, we understand how challenging it is to face a new digital environment and try to excel in it. So we created that um, service for our student. This is where students can have a one on one session with a digital learning um, leader as well, and they can get online learning tips and resources on how to be a better student in the digital environment. Um, to sum up, I just want to highlight again that all of our services and programs are always is free and available to all students at uh, Humber College, all campuses, and the University of Gull Humber. And uh, one last thing to mention is that all of our students' uh, services are delivered by students because PALS peer assistant learning support is all about the peer learning from each other. Well, thank you so much for that thorough um, 
information about um, what PALS offer, I, I think the services that you provide will be super helpful for a lot of students at Humber and Guelph Humber. Um, what is the process to be involved with PALS? So can students volunteer or get involved in the PALS program? Um, of course. So as mentioned, our programs are delivered typically by upper year students, so they can have you know, personal connection and relation to various issues students are facing in college. Um, I don't think we have a lot of volunteering opportunities, but uh, we do often hire for student staff. We do for roles such as peer learning coaches for LSWs, um, note takers, peer tutors, past study session leaders, and so on. For folks who are interested, they can always reach out directly to our department of house or they can keep an eye to the um, career website where all the on-campus jobs are posted. OK, great. Mm -hmm. And how do you manage work uh, personal balance? I think out of five years of studying at Humber after two programs, I just gained that skill set. Naturally, I had to learn. I always had a full time course load of like five or six courses every semester and I always had at least two jobs every semester. Mm -hmm. um, so that that was definitely a lot, but that's how you learn how to prioritize, you know, um, organize yourself and take care of your time. Um, right now, I actually also work two jobs, fix 50 hours a week. Um, sometimes it can be a lot, but the way I keep myself organized, I, I just live off Microsoft sticky notes for my laptop, you know, the diff using different colors and fonts for various tasks. And right. I also heavily rely on the notes apps on iPhone. I think it's very uh, un underappreciated <laughs> by a lot of people. And right. it's just like my entire life is on it. If I ever lose that note, I will not know where I need to be in life every day. <laughs> that, that's how I stay uh, organized. But I think it also helps, um, you know, work from home option. Mm -hmm. It was a great opportunity for me personally. Right now I have like half and half split, but it's great on days when you work from home on your lunch break. You know, you can unload the dishwasher or do your laundry in between meetings. That's amazing. But yeah. I realized that I enjoy the mix of both and doing 100% remote job is, is just too much for me. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Thank you for sharing. And since COVID-19, um, has your experience for work life changed? I think you mentioned a little bit about that earlier. Uh, yeah, actually for me, I think COVID experience in general was luckily positive. It started pretty negatively. Um, in March 2020, I got laid off from my full time recruitment job oh, after sorry, several. Sorry. Yeah, thank you, Monica. But I think luckily it turned out into something good. Mm -hmm. I think after several months of, you know, like uncertainty and worries, just like for everyone else, I decided to take a break and go back visit my family. I'm originally from Russia, so I spent about half a year there spending like all the big holidays, you know, Christmas and New Year with my family, which was an extra special moment for me because I've been in Canada for 10 years and I don't have a single family member here. Oh, wow. So yeah, that was a great moment a time for me and uh, last spring I came back had a quick uh, like a contract position and in summer I started working with Humber so luckily I can say that it was a good experience for me I wasn't affected by COVID my close ones were luckily all good safe and sound so in general for me personally it was a positive experience great I'm glad you had that I'm glad you actually got the opportunity to visit your family as well and get a mini vacation before you started working thanks for sharing that story I'm sure a lot of um, students can resonate with that um, is there any advice you would like to share with Humber students or Guelph Humber students um, who would like to use PALS of course I just want to tell everyone who listens to this please don't be shy uh, utilize every service out there we're definitely here to support you and direct any questions you have i think sometimes people are scared to ask questions because they might think that it's a you know a stupid question and they don't want to embarrass themselves but it's totally fine even if you think that you will reach out to a wrong department or a wrong person you know we'll find out what way and we'll connect you to the right person um, we offer a lot of amazing free services which i think will be beneficial for everyone and we really want our students to be aware of them and actually utilize them um, I think in general, PALS and student life is a great way just to meet new people, you know, make lifelong friends like myself. Um, you can get a professional experience as a student leader, get paid. Um, you can always attend different great events and win even great prizes. And just like a general tip, as a former student and a former leader myself, 
I would just definitely recommend everyone to be involved with any student services on campus. Just try all of them and it's a great way to grow your resume and your, uh, grow your network. I've heard a lot of alumni who graduated years later saying how much they regret not being a part of campus life. You know, they just attended classes, went back home. They found that it wasn't beneficial to them and they really regret that. So if you if you're listening to this recording right now, please don't be in that in that boat and uh, try your best to attend various events and workshops and services on campus. It will definitely be a great experience for you. Regina, that's actually great advice uh, for the students. <laughs> I hope you take it. Um, the final question I have is how can students get more information about PALS? Yeah, so the first thing everyone can do is check our website, humber.ca slash learning resources. Um, there you can find a more detailed breakdown of every programming we offer, which I mentioned early in this video. Um, you can always send us an email. The best one would be peer.tutoring at humber.ca. Uh, you can always just give us a visit in the office. We are physically located well 105 at Lakeshore and the Math and Writing Center is at F201 at Lakeshore. My bad, unfortunately, don't know locations of those at North Campus. Um, sometimes we do try our best to go to different class visits and have different tabling, you know, so we can try to reach more students so they're just aware of our services. And actually, I think it's March 12th or March, March 10th when we'll have um, services fair. So myself will be representing PALS at Lakeshore. So hopefully I'll see some of you folks in there. Well, that's a great opportunity. Thank you so much, Regina, for participating in the coffee chat um, and talking to us about PALS.